It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with my recap of week two in the XFL and how I did. And we're going to look ahead to next week and we're going to see who I would pick in the games for next week. So um, in week two, I went three and one again. Week one, I went three and one. Week two, I went three and one. So that's six and two if you're counting at home. So far on the season for me. The first game uh, was on Thursday night, and that was the Battle Hawks over the Sea Dragons by the score of 20 to 18. This was another close game, and it was a crazy close game. Another one where the team that ended up winning was behind by a good number of points late in the game and they did a late rally with all the little shenanigans that the xfl allows and they actually came back and won the game i had picked the sea dragons in this game and that's the one i got wrong i would have been right except for the late comeback by the battle hawks um the next one is the defenders my defenders beat the vipers by the score of 18 to 6 i had picked the defenders to win this game they are as you can see my favorite team and we are 2-0 and the defenders are 2-0 and look out for the defenders so um, and the uh, vipers uh, dropped to 0-2 and, and then the next game we got is the brahmas over the guardians big 30 to 12 just like in week one the guardians got destroyed they got their butts handed to them by the team playing them. The Guardians so far look like the only team that's really overmatched by the other teams. Every other game seems to be relatively close. Uh, so, you know, I don't know what the Guardians are going to do, but they don't look real good right now. And then the uh, Roughnecks at home beat the Renegades, and I had called that one too. As well as I did also call the Guardians game. So uh, that is what we got for the weekly recap. Those are the scores for the four games that went on last week. And you know that the sportsman is 6-2 and two on the year. So let's look ahead to the week three schedule. Uh, week three, the first game... <coughs> excuse me. The first game will be on Saturday, March 4th. And that will be the Sea Dragons and the Vipers. Now, even though the Sea Dragons are 0-2, I've got them winning this game, visiting the Vipers. The Vipers haven't been really impressive. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead with the and take the Sea Dragons on the road in this game over the Vipers. Game after that, you got the Battle Hawks and the Defenders. Now you know what? The Defenders are my team. So until they lose or make a habit of losing, I'm going to pick the Defenders, especially since the Defenders are home in this game. Um, and the Battle Hawks had to have a late come from behind victory last week, as we mentioned. So I'm going to go with the Defenders in that game. Guardians at the Renegades. Now, really, neither one of these teams has really been impressive so far. Um, the Guardians are 0-2, but the Renegades are 1-1, and they're lucky not to be 0-2. But the Renegades are at home. They got Bob Stoops as their head coach. And the Guardians have just not shown that they can really effectively take the field with any of the teams in the XFL so far. Um, so with the Renegades being at home, I'm going to give them the edge and we're going to take the Renegades. And then the final game is the Brahmas at the Roughnecks. The Roughnecks look like they're running rough shot over the XFL. So this is an easy one. The Brahmas are one and one, and again, <coughs> um, they uh, they lost in the opening week um, and weren't very impressive. And then and then last week they beat what is probably the worst team in the XFL. So we're going to take the Roughnecks at home, and so those are my picks in week three. You got the Roughnecks over the Brahmas. You got the Renegades over the Guardians. The Defenders over the Battle Hawks, and the Sea Dragons beating the Vipers. 
that is the only game, the uh, Sea Dragons over the Vipers is the only game where I am picking the road team. In every other game, I'm taking the home team. So uh, that's uh, an easy way to think about it. So uh, are you guys liking the XFL so far? I mean, I like it. The games are close. They're riveting. The, uh, the, new, the rules that they implement um, allow for late comebacks that you wouldn't see in the NFL. And uh, and really, the only team that seems really overmatched by the other te by any team in the XFL is, guard is the Guardians. So uh, that's where we are. And uh, leave your comments in the uh, comments section below. Remember to give me a thumbs up on the video, whether you like it or not. Just give me a thumbs up. You know, simple. And uh, that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.